Okay. We got Spottius playing Lytra. Against Master playing Vesper. Lytra, an interesting pick. I don't know what the the plan is here from Spottius. Maybe like the commander bands kind of threw them or... Yeah, I don't actually know, but... <clears throat> Gonna go up against Vesper. And as far as I know, Lytra doesn't affect Vesper. Like if stuff's under smoke, Lytra can't influence it. <clears throat> Which I actually think would be a really nice buff to Lytra if she could influence stuff that's under Vesper smoke. I think that would make her a really good counter pick. And... Add a bit of variety, uh, because Vesper, I think, really could use, like, some more people that could counter her. Because right now it's like, Ryota can hit stuff under smoke, and Wolfar can bounce stuff around stuff that's under smoke, but can't target stuff in the smoke directly. But... We'll see. We'll see what Spot Ace is planned. Almost at Groove, actually, so... Lytra does charge pretty quickly. And especially if she's gonna get another hit on this village. That is, uh... Oh yeah, that's a quick... Tier 1 right there. And that means that Knight's under a lot of pressure. From Lytra. Like, Lytra can... Basically bait the knight into something that... Into a place where it could get killed. Obviously if it's standing next to a village it's safe. But... Ooh, and now we see Master going commander versus commander. And this makes sense. Lytra can't influence enemy commanders. Whereas Vesper dropping smoke on their opponent can... Attack their commander relatively safely. So, yeah, I wonder if we're going to see anything here from Spotius in that regard. And, ooh, largely going to back up, but goes for the capture on this village again. And that's going to let Vesper build a lot of groove. Just sitting in front of their opponent. And here we go, Knights going to knock villages down. Good sword crit coming out there. Doesn't go for the capture on this village, but... Going for unit count instead. And these knights are actually really safely positioned too. And Spotius is going for a counter attack on the right. Recognizes that they're getting beaten up a bit here on the left hand side, so. But eh, Spotius is actually doing pretty good work on this right hand side. Would love to see something that could deal with the spear. I think there is a, a real lack of anti spear units over on this side. That mage is going to be very annoying to deal with. Yeah, because the knight can't quite reach- oh! No, it can't actually, thinking about it. Yeah, so Spotty's just has to keep pointing this out. And oh, Vesper has tier 1. I think we're going to see a big push coming out here from Master and Lytra. Tier 2 unfortunately takes a long time to charge. And Master has been playing really well around. Like you're having tier 1, so the knights haven't been standing in places where they can get grooved. And yeah, Master just taking their time. 20 minutes for 8 turns is actually fairly slow on this map, but. I guess we're not going to see time pressure coming just yet. Okay, nice big unit pick up there. No spear is actually the threat in this knight, so... Just gonna use this to wall for the moment. Audius is just like, yeah, I gotta be aggressive over here. Ooh, I'm, I'm concerned though, because I think... We could see a Vesper Groove come out. And Golem, yep, yeah, just gonna push over on this right hand side. Alright, dragon coming out makes sense. Master actually has to back up. There isn't really like a good opportunity to wall break here. Smoke isn't gonna be able to be applied that well. Alright, 
they're gonna move back. Here goes nothing. And Spice is just gonna keep putting the pressure on. I mean, Spice has been doing a good job, like economy-wise. They've, I think, had a village lead most of the game. And they're going up against Vesper, which is a really difficult commander to play into, so. Ooh, but I think this is when we're going to see, yep, Golem goes down, we're going to see more stuff. Uh, not going down, but... going to take a whole bunch of damage here. Yeah, just going to smoke. One Golem kill, plus a little bit of extra damage is actually really quite nice. Gonna be really difficult for Spotties to get a second goal out. Time to oh, Song Cyclone, this is gonna do nothing. And I think Spotties now realizes that, wait a moment, my plan here did not work out. I guess they just didn't know about Song Cyclone not affecting stuff. And. That's actually really unfortunate. That's a really like nasty way to go. Like if they lose this match because of that. Because all they did was Song Cyclone one of their own units into the smoke which killed it. Which actually is really funny that I didn't know. Or that, that people didn't know that like. Not only do you not move your opponent's units. But the units you move into your opponent just instantly die. So. This body is getting kind of crushed here right now did a groove and it like only hurt their own units and that is that is a rough way to go i don't even know how you come back from that actually this golem yeah i gotta pick up a kill on that dog and yeah master just having a dominating turn but spice is gonna fight it out and like props to them because I imagine like the mental fortitude it would take to come back from something like that is pretty high, but yeah, Lytra just has to walk back. Nice pick up there, but I think Spartius is just like, oh, this is uh, not how I wanted to go out. Oh, and they lose the witch as well. Oh no, this is just like everything going wrong. The goal is at the perfect health to like keep one-shotting stuff. And, oh, we're even going to see a dog suicide? Is this a lethal? There is a... Oh, there's a dragon on their own road? Oh, I don't know if it's lethal. Oh, no, wait, yeah. Dragon plus swords. Yeah, there's so much damage here. And, like, dragon crit's only going to do, like, 45, but that's going to be more than enough, I think. Especially with like, yeah, Knight just walks up and hits. And yeah, Master just padding some stats for good measure at the end there. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I'm sorry. I do think if Lytra could groove stuff and smoke, I think that would be a really interesting interaction. But unfortunately, that is not how the game works. And Vesper just kind of rolled over. Oh, that's so... Unfortunate to have see someone. I think the last time I saw something like that was um, in Wargroove One. There was a player that I think it was Headphone that Wolfar grooved their own golem because they thought the golem could act afterwards, uh, which would obviously not work out because that would be hilariously broken if that was the case. But they they did that and then they realized that oh wait that exhausts my own unit if I use it on like a unit that's still fresh um and in this case yeah we're gonna see like basically like a similar circumstance where spotty has felt so confident and it probably would have worked out amazingly well if it had worked that way but no no it didn't and yeah master just kind of won from there Really unfortunate, Spotius was actually doing really well up until that point too. And I think that's the case for both games, like, 
Game one, they were both pretty even, and then Master just won with a tier two. Uh, Wolf R Groove, and then this game, Bodius just kind of sat there and killed one of their own units with their Groove. So, yeah, well played to Mastro, and unfortunately, uh, there was Bodius. But they're still qualified for the main event. They're still going into the championships. They still have the uh, third place match to come up as well. We have to wait for the other side of the bracket to catch up on that. But, yeah, that will be... Uh, coming up next and then yeah so spotless not over yet and they learned a valuable lesson about later 